This is a uh, Collins ART13. Just a brief demonstration of it uh, operating on the low frequency uh, bands. Um, to do that, the, uh, this control has to be set to low frequency. And this control is set to 13. This control is set to 13. And the, the auto tuner actually does set this control correctly. I like to change this one manually. With those set at uh, 13, the, the output of the transmitter goes directly to a second terminal on the uh, on the side panel here, which is marked uh, loading coil. And the loading coil is this unit here, which is sort of an antenna tuning unit. It hasn't got a capacitor in there, just just a coil and a variometer, tap coil and a variometer. And it's designed for a, a 200 foot trailing wire antenna, so I haven't got a the 200 foot trailing wire antenna on the garage <laughs> so it won't tune up correctly but I'm getting quite a bit of uh, plate current so I think with the correct antenna it should probably tune up okay um, just a little brief demonstration I've got it set to 500 kilohertz at the moment key down it's the plate current and the output frequency is approximately 500 kilohertz which is where it should be um, and that's really about it, all I can demonstrate. I am uh, not really able to uh, detect a lot of output uh, signal on the, um, on the power meter. And again, I think it's due to um, mismatches and the fact that the, uh, the PA is completely untuned. There's no, uh, there's, apart from this loading coil, there's no capacitor on there to tune it. And I've got it into a 50 ohm dummy load, which is probably nothing like what it needs to be able to tune uh, to the 500 kilohertz frequency. So there we go, uh, ART13 now operating on uh, HF as well as, uh, as as well as LF.